Book your child tutoring session today, www.telematelearningllc.net. Virtual and local tutoring options available. Again, that's www.telematelearningllc.net. Thank you. Oh, this is Vita MC. You're watching Queen Effie TV. Yeah, thank you. It's your boy King B. Hit a big up. You're not watching Effie TV, man. Huh? Thank you. This is you watching Queen Effie TV, South Georgia. Thank you. What's good? This is the Salt Guy. The Queen of the Rapper. Shout out. Queen Effie TV. What's up, everybody? Everybody, this is Queen Effie TV. I'm your girl, F. Dot. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. We have a fire, fire guest in the building. I'm gonna let you introduce yourself. Malpractice, Northeast DC, OSBL, Battle Rap Report, all the words. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. We got Mel Practice in the building. How you been, Mel? Man, I'm, I'm living, man. I'm just coming off of Ramadan. I was fasting for this month, man. That felt good. Um, I'm feeling good about, you know, my last couple battles. Uh, I feel like I'm in a good space, man. I feel good. Absolutely, absolutely. So you've been cooking. I've been watching. You've been cooking. You feel me? So yeah. let's get into it. Tell the people where you're from. Man, I'm a Northeast D.C., baby, man. Uh, I don't think no hoods out of the city, man, but I'm a Northeast, baby. Uh, and rub it to the fullest. Fire, fire. Hey, Mel. Mel Reacts, she popped up. What's up, Mel Reacts? The biggest Mel. The biggest. The biggest Mel, <laughs> right? She got All that. Right. Shout out to Mel Re. All right, so what was it like growing up um, where, you, where you from? Uh, it was it was it was definitely an experience. Uh, I, I moved around a lot, and so like I feel like I felt myself always kind of like adapting. You know what I mean? Understanding different environments and like seeing myself in different places. Uh, so I feel like for me, it was just always kind of seeing myself in a different context and like learning what do work for me, what don't work for me, what is me, what ain't me. Um, and it was a little difficult, but you know, it, it was a, it was a, it was a good challenge to to build who I am. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, so what is your home league? Our society battle league makes some noise. Oh, Talk about it. it. <laughs> <laughs> the, best, the best league in the DMV, one of the best small leagues in, in the country, man. Proud to call it my home. Yeah, shout out to Cows, man. Shout out to that. That's dope. That's fire. Yeah. She she definitely um building stars over there, okay? Definitely. <laughs> Nah, stars on stars on stars on stars. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Talk about it, okay? All right. So, um, uh, what was your first battle? My first battle. Um, my first battle was a uh, Vaughn two hundred two in a park. It, we, we were in the middle of a basketball court on a Saturday morning <laughs> on Capitol Battlegrounds. It was insane. Like the battle got canceled. And then we got moved to a park in the middle of the day with like an overcast. Um, we were both new. I think it was both of our first battles. Uh, it was it was fun. It's crazy looking back on it because I was like, oh my god, I would have never wrote that. <laughs> but that was probably what I want to say October twenty twenty one. So I'm probably like two and a half years in right now. Yeah, no, okay, two years ago. Yeah. Okay. So what was your introduction to Battle Rap? Uh, I have a very vivid memory. Uh, it was 40 Cal versus Cardi. Uh, I forget what, what the, the series was called. It was on a little DVD. I think my stepfather had, had uh, a DVD and they were like battling across the pool table 
They had like 60 second rounds. Uh, and it was crazy, man. It, it, I didn't see anything like it before that. Um, and I was like, kind of like a, a, a URL smack kind of fan first. Um, and then like when I got into it, I kind of started learning more about like what DMV battle scene was like. And I didn't realize that that new DMV battle scene was crazy, like crazy. The new DMV, okay. Talk about the new DMV. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> what first inspired you to start bad rapping? Yeah. So honestly, I'm gonna be candid. Um, so I tell you, I do spoken word poetry. Um, I've been doing it for a long time. It's my thing. Uh, but I've always rapped. So I've been rapping since I was maybe seven, eight, nine o'clock. I mean, sorry, nine, nine years old. <laughs> um, and I feel like at some point I was like, I love how I write and I love my words and I love performing on stage. But I was like, I don't know. I also feel like it's something near me just need a little more. Like I need a little more energy. I need a little more competitiveness. I need a little more like fire, you know? Uh, so, so yeah, I was kind of like, all right. And I originally planned to do a two on two with one of my, uh, my, my homies at the time. He got kind of like cold feet, you know, and I just kind of was like, all right, well, I'm going to do it. You know, I'm going to still go ahead. Um, and, and ever since I've been like, I've been in love with it. I've been in love with, with how free it is and how kind of like how cool of an art form it is. Okay. Okay. Shout out to talks with Jay. Shout out to J dot. Shout out to Zeke. Shout out to anybody who pulled up. Shout out to Yo Yo Raps review. Yeah. To y'all. All right. So, what was your most memorable battle? Most memorable battle. That's a tough question. Um, I feel like, it's, especially like as you're developing, like all these battles seem like the biggest battle. You know, like all, all these ones seem like the one that could be the make or break one, or like you're the one that you see uh, kind of take you to the next level. Um, I, I, it's tough. I'm kind of split. I'm gonna give you a, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a two part answer. I'm sorry. Um, so I would say one is, uh, Dreddy on, on Eminence last year. Um, it was always Beals, uh, one of the biggest cards in the history of the league. You know, Tay Rock was on the card, Cuban, Vixen, Jade, Holmesy, Hustle, Dollar, you know, like an, an crazy list, right? Um, right. We, were, we were supposed to be on the card the night before we were on combination. Um, and so we're supposed to be one of the main events the, the night before situations change and then we open it up eminence, you know, it's like my fifth battle of it always being, you know, I, mean, you, know you know, I got, I, you know, that was shocking to me, you know, and I think I went crazy. It was probably one of my, my best battles. Um, probably, I think I arguably had like a body of the night situation. Um, everybody was in the building, you know, it was, it felt different. The ready battle felt different. Um, but I'll say, like, I do want to acknowledge my Gary Austin battle. Uh, I battled Gary Austin uh, on a card last May. It was like my second or third card with OSBL, and the card was named after him. Um, and I rapped second, yeah. and like, yeah, and he rapped first, and everybody was like scared. Like, everybody was like, "Hey, Prax, you gotta do something. Like, this ain't looking good. You know, like, it's scary." Uh, and I think I held my own, man, as, as an underdog and somebody on a newer league, you know, battling somebody, another person from D.C. Uh, that's a monumental battle for me. I, I always appreciate that. That's fire. That's fire. Shout out to Gary, man. You said the card was named after him? Yo, yeah, man. It was called Bitch Duck. Man. Bitch Duck, uh, I want to say it was May 2023. It's named after his slogan. He got a slogan. It's like a reference to like Elmer Fudd, man. It's, it's crazy. It was, it was yeah. insane. And look, I ain't even know. So it was like a call out card, right? And so it was like, all right, somebody call out, you know, who you want to battle. And I get called out by Gary. And I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. I battle Gary. And then we get the, the flyer. And I'm like, that's his slogan. Oh, Lord. Like, <laughs> how this name Dr. the brand. He called me out. I was like, this is set up, man. <laughs> Hey, yo, that's crazy. Great battle, man. Great battle. Shout out to the district. Man. Yeah, shout out to Gary, man. So, I want to talk about your battle that just dropped on YouTube, okay? Mm. Versus Mallory X. Uh -huh. That fucking battle was fire, okay? Insane. Yeah, okay. so that was the uh, that was the PTSD finals uh battle against me and Mallory. Uh it was uh it was the first time I had really done something like that. I mean besides the crucible, I did the crucible a year ago. 
Um, but OSB has had many opportunities to be like doing universal rounds. Like, you know, you got to be prepared for whoever. Uh, and we were in a four round tournament. Uh, the, the, the competition was crazy. And, you know, Mallory and malpractice were in the finals. You know what I'm saying? Um, and ooh, that girl different. She that is. Woman, that woman is different. <laughs> she is fine, yeah. Mallory's a star, man. It felt different. It felt like I don't even know how to describe it. Like I was on like a punching bag, and I was like, she don't even feel this. Like, why does why does Bot not hitting her? Like, why is she invincible or something, man? So Mallory is fine, man. That was a different experience for sure. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Shout out to Mel, man. And then I watched her versus Eunice. Like, man, Mel. Was, so shout out to her. Crazy. Um, so anyway, um, how do you stay motivated and continue to improve your skills as a bed rep? Yeah. Uh, I think for me, it's because I like to do all the genres, man. I like to do almost anything that that includes writing. You know, I do like I said, I'm gonna keep talking about how I do poetry. You know, I host shows and stuff like that. Um, I make music as well. Uh, I think I'm never just like I love the form of battle rap, but also like as a performer, I want to keep getting better. As somebody that like hosts shows and like curates environments, like I want to be able to be the best malpractice I can be. Um, so I always try to you know surround myself with people who inspire me, who I think are better than me. Um, and who can contribute something to, to you know, building our culture. Uh, but also, I just like to have fun, man. I feel like at the end of the day, this is entertainment. You know, sometimes it feels like a job. Sometimes it feels like a, you know, obligation, you know. But a lot of times, it's supposed to be about fun. It's supposed to be about making memorable moments that can change lives and change artists and change people. So, like, uh, I always think this, this art form, it's a big art form. Okay, fire, fire, fire. Okay, so let's talk about the DMV all oh, all star card you was on. Okay, <laughs> that shit was fire too. <laughs> yeah, it was, wasn't it? <laughs> shit, okay, kill the motherfucker, kill the opponents and shit. That's fire. So tell the people who you battle in the DMV all stars. Yeah, so I battled uh, Rose at a pit fights. We were both like the the rookies from our from our respective leagues, so we battled. <laughs> and that shit was a massacre to me okay that shit was another body like like she said another body <laughs> <laughs> hey listen you gotta be prepared for whatever man like especially like in that setting like that was another one where it was like i don't know who i'm gonna get you know i had an inclination like I kind of, I kind of got this growing thing with pit fights. Like I kind of want to be, I don't kind of want to be beefing with them. You know what I'm saying? We kind of beefing a little bit with being pit fights. <laughs> so you know, I was like, I kind of want to have some extra stuff for pit fights, but I didn't know. You know, it was 12 people it could have been. So um, after that, you know, it was just like I just got to be ready for whoever. And if I feel like it's somebody that inspires me, you know, of course I wanted a Rex Rubel or a Six Eight or a, 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 I forget who else was on that card from the other leagues, but like. Um, yeah, you know, like one of those names, but then it's also like you got to be ready for whatever. And he could have easily beat me. And then, you know, what that looked like, you know? But I think I was ready for it. I think that was a good battle. That was <laughs> you, you was definitely ready for it. You feel what I'm saying? I feel like they should have probably gave him some somebody else for me. But, you know, it goes how it goes. You feel me? So shout out to that battle, okay? I don't even want to ask what was the consistency of the building or how you think you did because it was a massacre to me, so. Massacre's crazy. <laughs> I mean, that's how I felt. So anyway, so um, next battle, let's talk about Trucified 2. Trucified 2. Oh, my goodness. We on a roll, ain't we? We, <laughs> we kind of on a roll. I don't know. Trucified 2 is crazy. I feel like this is another situation, man, where I don't know. Like, I, I think I got an argument for a performance of the night. You know, it might be like two, one or two other people up there, like with me, with me. But I think I had a standout performance. Um, I think, you know, I took a, I took a battle that C, that might have been a second or third live battle, you know. And so, like, it was one of those situations where it wasn't a Swamp or a K Walk or a B Magic, you know, those big names, super dope names. But, you know, I, I wanted to do that because one, I thought that event was going to be good. And it was. It was. It was. It was a great, great event, great battles, all that. Right. And so it's like, yeah, the, the I wanted to have a good time, and I did. And I think that also kind of inspired my material. When I wrote my material, I was like, 
I just want to have a good time. And then I think, <laughs> I think that that did that was that was crazy. That was bad. That was <laughs> C was great. C C was C was C was really good. C was really good. Um, C was really good. But when you when you went like you elevated, like it was just like you like elevated and captured the crowd, and it was just like crazy. Like I don't know. He did good, but you did better. I'll say that. <laughs> you know, if that's your word, that's your word. <laughs> Shout out to C, though. He did his thing, though. I, I'll yeah, say that. Sure. He did it. For sure. I see play. So, man. All right. So, that was a great battle. All right. So, um, any other battles you want to talk about that you did? Because you, you you are busy. You feel me? Any, any other battles I missed? Yeah. Um. What What do we have recently? Uh, uh. We also had uh me versus P burner. Me versus P burner on the exile card. Um. That was uh in that green room on OSBL. Uh. Super dope visuals. I think BC was on the visuals for that one. That was my first battle. It was like you know the vibe is like no no entourage. No you know everybody's off camera. There's just the battles up there. I thought it was super fire. Super concept. A super dope concept. And uh, yeah, man, me and Burner with the war. I think on a card with uh, who was on that card? Like the P Black and the Wu and Eunice and uh, uh, Sinatra, Slum Dog. It was a really incredible surprise card, right? Uh, I think we might have had the best back and forth. Like we had a really incredible back and forth on that card. And so that's the rest of my 2024 right there is P, P Burner, uh, Rose. And uh, seed uh, out of OSBL, so that's two away battles, and then the Crucible. But other than that, like, yeah, P Burner, I think that's a great battle, man. That's a really good one, man. You off to a great start, I think so, man. Hey, listen, I'm gonna speak it right now. I want this 2024 OSBL Battler of the Year trying to go undefeated, trying to get these uh, these URL final exams, trying to you know what I'm saying, go out of town, be home. I'm trying to be, you know. I want this year to be it. So we speaking that too. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you, you on your way. You definitely on your way with that. But okay. So, um, um, who's on your hit list? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, who's on my hit list? Uh, I'm gonna give you the floor. Huh? I'm gonna give you the floor. I'm gonna give you a solo. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> You're gonna give me the floor. All right, stay list. This is who need to be ducking 2024. Who need to watch their head. Eunice, watch yourself. SBE Smoke, watch yourself. <laughs> Wusa, watch yourself. Wordplay the Menace, watch yourself. Cuban, don't ever talk to me in public, bruh. Unless we rapping, I never want to talk to you again. Cuban is especially. Cuban, you know what? We're going to put Cuban number one. We're okay. going to get Cuban up out of here number one. And oh, I'm gonna leave nice. everybody else after that, yeah. And and, and I'm not gonna say too much about um about my good sis, but but me and me and Mal might need to do something in terms of a two on two, see who could you know step in front of us. I don't know how many people could be a fucking fire ass two on two. I ain't gonna lie, whoever whoever you all go against, that'll be fire. What would y'all name be? Mal practice <laughs> like that shit. Uh, bigger, bigger mouths. <laughs> Bigger vows. I don't know. We gotta think about. It. Hey, little. I can't say nothing crazy. She gonna get mad at me when I get up. <laughs> like we ain't talking about that name. We gotta discuss. Don't worry about it. It's big mouths though. We in the building. I know that'd be fire to him too, man. Shout out smoke. To hey, smoke, man. Smoke's my dog, man. Smoke's my dog. But it's one of them times, you know, where it's like, you know, where your competitive nature just take over. It's like, all right, I'm proud of you. No, what's up? So what's up for him? Oh, yeah, that's dope. Shout out to Mama. Shout out to Destin who pulled up. You feel me? Shout out to Smoke. Shout out to y'all. Okay. All right. So I'm going to take you off the solo now. All right. So um, who is on your Mount Rushmore? Ooh, Mount Rushmore. Um, man, all right. I got, I got Rock. I got Rock on my Rushmore. Fire. Um, it's it, the consistency is insane. It's kind of like a LeBron. Like I don't know how you've been doing this for this long and still incredible. Like I just seen him for one of the first times uh, in person last year on Eminence. Oh no 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 no! 
I had seen him on the Summer Madness. But then we was on the same card. That was fire. But it, being on the same card, I saw him so different. Like, it was like, nah, he's incredible. Like, even amongst us, you know. Uh, that, Rock is up there. Uh, I got, I got, uh, I got Lux up there. Um, oh, oh, I hate these questions so bad because it's my opinion, you know. Like, I want to, at the end of the day, I just be mad because I don't really be agreeing with people like that anyway, you know. And so, I be wanting to create like a little Mount Rushmore that everybody agree with. I'm sorry, listen. All right, I got Rock, I got Lux, I got New Jersey twerk on my Mount Rushmore. I think, I think New Jersey twerk has changed the rap game beyond battle rap, you know. I, mean? I think he's uh, I think he's changed a lot. Um, and, and my four, ooh, ooh, I don't know about four, man. I think maybe a, maybe a Arsenal. Maybe that's, a, fire. Like, that's a fire ass Mount Rushmore, though. I think I might go Arsenal, man. I, when I seen Arsenal go to uh overseas and he battled Shoddy Horror, and I think it was like in Britain or England, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, like he just so his brand is so crazy. Like I'm just about to disrespect you until like you don't want to be here no more. And <laughs> you just do it all the time. Like it's inspiring. So I, I'm, I'm probably hating myself for that that rush more a little later. I'm gonna want to edit it, change it, but that's what I got right now. It's fine. It's fine. I think that's fire though. I like Arsenal. I like I like his disrespect. You feel what I'm saying? I fucks with it. And Rock, I feel like Rock is, Rock is a goat. You feel me? He's one of the goats. So definitely, he would definitely be on mine. Yeah. All right. So, who annoys you in bed rap? You said who annoys me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Oh my God! Who annoys me? Young. Uh, oh my gosh, Dice. Dice annoys me. <laughs> I wish good things for the brother. I I hate that I've never seen his eyeballs. I feel like he always in glasses. He's sleeping, showering glasses. Dice throw me off. Um, who, who else throw me off? Man, Eunice throw me off too. Man, I can't hold you. That's my Muslim brother, man. But. Man, I can't hold it. I feel like every time I see you in this, man, he just do something that just make me confused. Like, <laughs> or he wears something that make me confused. Like, <laughs> and he ducking me too. So, Eunice annoys me. Um, who else, man? I got a long list. Uh, Hefe, Hefe Street from uh, Bars Over Bricks uh, out, of, out of Maryland and New York. Yeah, the 180 Bully, whatever his name is. I'm all set. I'm all set. Hella annoying. Better <laughs> Talk better than his raps. Man, I can't hold you. I got a list. I got a list. And my main one, honestly, you know who annoyed me the most? I'm going to tell you who annoyed me the most. Cheddar. 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 Oh, I'm so sick. I'm going to breathe my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cool on Cheddar, man. I'm cool on Cheddar. Get up out of here. I, I'm not even explaining. I'm not even. Nah, I'm cool. <laughs> it doesn't have to be whatever he, it doesn't have to be explained. You feel what I'm saying? I get you. Yeah, man. And we can keep going, but we might as well move on because I can. <laughs> hey, that's what's going on, y'all. Okay. All right. So give me your best bar of yours. Your best bar. Thanks. That's kind of stressful. Um just one. Just one of them. Um uh, Trying to think, uh, I really liked, um, yeah, I really liked, uh, what did I say? Uh, I, honestly, I really liked out of my most recent battle, the seed battle, um, where I was like, uh, what did I say? And I said, I'm really a nerd, y'all. I was reading Harry Potter while my peoples was beefing, but I still kept a bullet for every op. I got a chamber of secrets. <laughs> Love shit. <laughs> like, that shit was fire. That's one of my favorite joints. It's like, it really kind of like, I feel like battle rap, you know, people tend to like lean towards certain topics that everybody talk about. You know, it's like easy to kind of talk about what everybody talk about. It. I know it's been Harry Potter bars before, but like when you start to find bars that really relate to your experience and just like convey what you've been through, and then when it hit in the building, it's like, oh, y'all kind of had a similar experience with me. Like, yeah, y'all felt that too. So that's one of my favorite ones, but I, I don't really know. I just think every bar mine is. Oh, just don't move a muscle. Destin, Destin might got it with that one. 
I can't hold you. Uh, I, I'm not, if you ain't never met malpractice, you right. I'm not going to kill you while you eating lobster, crab cake, or seafood truffle. I'll let you pray over your food. Just don't move a muscle. <laughs> I, I, uh, Thank you, Dustin. Thank you. The lowest seed, the lowest seed win, that was my far. Lowest seed win. That was fire. That was a good one. Thank you. That and the performance. And, the, and the, honestly, that was one of the first times I ever kind of did. Not, not the first time ever, but it was like I kind of performed that on purpose. And I feel like that's like the next step for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's essentially like choreography for real, for real. Like, you know I mean? You got to like, you know, know how you want to be and how you want to set it up and how you want to look. And like, I was like, lower seed win, but I also wanted to get lower. You know what I'm saying? Like, I appreciate that. Oh, Havana mama. That's good. <laughs> I got some ones, man. I think I got some bars. I've been working. I try to get better every battle. Um, and, you know, people latch on what they latch on to, but I try to be the best I can all the time. Yeah, shout out to that, man. Yeah. All right, so don't get thrown off when I say the best ball. Now, I, I, I always ask for the worst ball. What's your worst ball? <laughs> What's my worst ball? <laughs> I'm not, listen, like I said, I try to get better every battle. Um, I try to, I try to, you know what I'm saying? I move up, we elevate. And at the end of the day, you know, my brain is see malpractice. Listen, you might see malpractice good. You might see malpractice bad, but you see me try and get better, you know? Um, I got some ones. <laughs> I got some ones. Um, what I say, uh, I, I wish I could take back um, some, some, uh, if you ain't never met Bell practice, you right. I'm not the type to uh, slide in your house and crash out like fuck it. I'm the type to steal a wet floor sign just so I can watch you kick the bucket. <laughs> and it's like, hey, I saw what I was doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, ooh, I was almost right there. But it's like, if I steal a wet floor sign, then maybe the bucket not there, and then maybe the floor even might be dry. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you go in and out. <laughs> <laughs> we move on, man. Listen, I, my mind was in the right place. Blame my, don't blame my heart. <laughs> I feel you. That's fine. That, you know, shout out to that. It wasn't even that bad, though. I ain't even going to lie. That shit was still good. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Same thing. <laughs> that shit was still good, but shout out to you. All right, so um, advice for new bed rappers um, coming into the game. Yeah. Um, have fun, number one. Uh, I, th I think that's like at a certain point in my development, I started to get frustrated when like I was so concerned about like winning or losing or like how people would perceive me. And it's like, it's important to always like know how you received and how people see you. But at the end of the day, it's like, you, this gotta feel good for you. You know what I'm saying? This is a lot of labor. You know what I'm saying? There's not a lot of money in battle rap until you get to a certain spot, you know? Um, and until you get there, you got to find a way to make sure you can sustain yourself until you get there. And one of them ways is just having fun and feeling good about the things that you rap about and, and how you rap it and how you perceive. Um, and my and my second thing is uh, to remember that your audience is always bigger than the room that you're in. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes I think we get so focused on breaking the building or making a haymaker or shaking the room. And it's like if you get 4,000 views on a battle and it's... 40 people in the building, bro, like, you know, who knows, like, breaking the building doesn't always mean getting a lot of views. I didn't see, I didn't see people have haymakers that, that it's like one of the most memorable bars ever, and that they battle get 100 views. You know what I'm saying? And so really, that I think is, that is some good advice. You just made me think, like, that is true. Yeah. That's so great. I didn't, see, I didn't see clips go viral where it was no reaction. You know, because people still resonated with it and received it, even if they if the room didn't like push the push the person off stage. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. you gotta elevate your mind. You gotta think bigger. But shout out to that. That's true. Yeah. All right. So, in two years, what do you see yourself? In two years, I'm what is it? April. I'm trying to be preparing for some madness. I'm trying to be preparing for for my. My second run in bat. I'm 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 acting like I'm getting through this year. It's crucible. We gonna find to exam it. You know, we on a new wave. I do my rookie of the year campaign. You know, and then in two years at this point, I'm giving shots out. You know, I'm I'm, I'm coming home. 
you know, I'm like, how much you paying malpractice to be there? You know, I'm like, what's up? <laughs> um, but even more than that, I just kind of want to battle in a lot of places, man. I want to, I love, I love going out of town. I, I love always being, I've developed so much and like the, the environment at always being events, especially with Kale's vision. Kale's vision for events is like incredible. Like, even outside of battle rap, I'm a, I'm a event planner, you know? And so like what Kale's does is it's never the same event. It's never the same experience. Even if you're just seeing battles all the time, it's never the same experience. Some different lights or some different scenery or some different, you know. Um, so yeah, I, I love OSB. Uh, but also love going out of town. I love when Kale sent me on a road mission. I love when she sent me down to Charlotte. She sent me up to Baltimore, like, all right, you got Rex Ruger, you know what I'm saying? In Baltimore, pit fights, three rounds, go handle business for me. I'm gonna do that. We're gonna yeah. do that. So I wanna get around a little bit too in back on the battle rap scene. Yeah, shout out to you, man. Shout out to that, man. That is fire. Shout out to Kells, OSBL. That's fire. All right, what's next for you? Yeah, so I think I just hinted at it. Uh, Rex Ruger, five, uh, what is it? No, 421, my bad. Uh, so that's next Sunday. We're going to be on Pit Fights, Pit Appreciation Day. Uh, me, and, me and Rex looking co-main event with Hood Life Vito and Rod. Um, and that's gonna be three rounds, like I said, incredible. And I'm super excited to be in the pit, man. I know some people that might be a little nervous to be up there again, especially like somebody like Rex, a performer, a writer. Uh, you know, what I mean, I think his battle rap IQ is really high. Um, I'm excited, I'm excited. I feel like so, it feels like people are telling me I'm the underdog. I love it because I don't even play like that. <laughs> so, if you think practice is gonna lose, say less, you know. Uh, so I got that, and then you know we're gonna see what's up with the crucible, man. We're gonna see what's up with this next phase. Uh, Prepare for that, and then you know we built for URL. Busy, busy, busy. So Ruger. you got Rex Ruger next week. What does a win be for you against Rex? Um, I think it tell me I'm king of the pit. I don't know, man. I'm king of the pit. I don't know what to tell you, man. Listen, first of all, king of the pit. How? <sighs> I don't know. First of all, how many times Julio didn't got this belt? He didn't defended this belt like 17 times. Goodness gracious. Julio came down here and died a nasty death. I'm so sorry to that young man. That's my boy. That's my Yo in the OSBL, right? Uh -huh. I did. Okay. Three, okay. Rounds. Three <laughs> rounds. 30. 30. He had some cool moments. 30. You know? Uh Rose was nasty work. Um, I like that battle um for him, <laughs> respectfully. For him, um, it's crazy. Respectfully, I'm trying. I'm really trying. Um, you know, and then you know, with Rex, man, I feel like Rex is a is a great opponent for me. Actually, you know, I think I think Rex is real smart. Um, I also think Rex is kind of like he's kind of like like he's kind of like me in a sense where like he weird enough to say something out the box that are like you wouldn't think about, you know. And I feel like you need that in battle rap. So it's like he's a good mix of like real smart, but also like like different. Um, so I'm excited to see what he do. And I think when I beat him, uh, I, I don't know who else need to come outside after that. I don't know if six, eight or something. Uh, I don't know. I might need to take a break for a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So what you thinking? Three, oh, two, one. Yeah. I don't, I don't plan to give him a round. I'm so sorry. Oh, so you are 30. Yeah. That's, that's, that's my goal. I'm not, listen, and I'm writing like that too. I'm writing like. It's gonna be gas. I'm writing like I'm the underdog. I'm writing like they not gonna cheer for me. I'm rapping like none of my friends show up. I'm rapping like it's money on the floor, all that. Like, so yeah, that's that's what I want. That's what I'm gonna get. Yeah. It's gonna be a fire battle, male yeah. practice versus Rex Ruger. You said 421, right? 421 next Sunday. Next Sunday. I'm gonna be in the building for that one, man. Let's go. I can't see this shit. I'm sorry. Pit Appreciation Day. Yep. Mm -hmm. Get your tickets, okay? So, um, do you have any shout outs? I'm going to give you the floor. All right, so I'm going to give you the floor. It's going to be three things because we're wrapping this up. So, it's going to be shout outs, where to keep people can find you, and a message to your op. To my op? Yep. Say <laughs> love. Yeah. Go ahead. All right, man. Uh, first of all, I want to give a shout out to to you know my closest friends of Battle Rap, man. The the, the Mallory X's, the SD Smooths, the Zeeks, 
Uh, shout out to the company, man. Uh, best battle rap group in the nation. You know what I'm saying? We outside. Shout out to OSBL, the best battle, development of battle league in the nation. Shout out to Kales for, for being a visionary, a scout, a manager, all the things. Um, who else I'm shouting out, man? Shout out, shout out to my brothers. Shout out to my brothers uh, in the district, man. Shout out to DC. It's a DC baby. Shout out to the new DMV movement. Uh, you know, the whole Maryland, the whole Virginia, the whole DC, man. You know, we embrace it, man. We family like a giant tree. You know what I'm saying? So, that's so uh, yeah, I'm that's saying that's the goal. That's the goal. And then my girl Valerie right there, man, the district. Um, yeah. Uh, all right. So you can find me at uh, S-E-E Malpractice. S-E-E Malpractice is all social media platforms. Brand is consistent. Um, follow me anywhere but my house. I don't play like that. Um, <laughs> tap in, man. We be having a whole bunch of content, a whole bunch of good times, a whole bunch of good vibes. Uh, and a message for my op, uh, Rex Ruler, man. Brother, I'm going to need you to get it together. Let me tell you something. I seen you going back and forth with Jerzo. You trying to put money on the floor with with anybody that walked past you, brother, you got 11 days to get to get it together. If I come into the pit and and, and walk you and dog walk you like Hooli got walked, it's going to be a nasty conversation. And I'm going to be on Twitter all month. So I'm going to need you to fight back in advance. You hear me? So step up and meet me up there because I'm bringing co-main event energy. And you're going to have to meet me there. And I'm not walking in there trying to get gas to pay. So you're going to have to meet me upstairs. But... I believe in you, though. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, that was a funny ass message. <laughs> you, male practice, man. I'm Thanks. so excited to uh, see this battle. You feel me? And excited for what's to come. You are a fire battler, and I. That's why I want. That's why I wanted to tap in with you and interview you because I want the people to know. You feel me? Yeah. No, I appreciate. They're I always crazy. love your interviews. Yes, but I wanted to, you know, interview you. Yeah. I always love your interviews, man. Uh, I think we've done a couple now. Uh, yeah, like NBL and the All-Star Car. You know, it's, it's always good to talk to you. You had some good questions. I appreciate it. Absolutely, absolutely. So yeah. I'm going to let you go. You feel me? So shout out to you. See you later. And y'all know what we say here. Spread love, not hate. Peace, dummies. See you, male practice. Peace, yeah. All right, now make sure y'all tune in tomorrow, okay? We have Mallory X, okay? Shout out to Mallory. We got Big Mel, Big Mel, not the little one. So make sure y'all tune in tomorrow. Peace out, y'all. Book your child tutoring session today, www.telematelearningllc.net. Virtual and local tutoring options available. Again, that's www.telematelearningllc.net. Thank you. Oh, this is Vita MC. you watching Queen Effie TV. Yeah, thank you. It's your boy King B. Made a big op. You're not watching Effie TV, man. Huh? Thank you. This is you watching Effie TV, South Georgia. Thank you. What's good? This is Salt Guy. This is Dino the Rapper. Shout out. Shout out. Queen Effie TV. This is YF. Um, what makes you stand out from all the other intake people?